the winner is, well, who'd you expect? The Kinney Cup once again runneth over with Reavers. Hey, emotions in overdrive at TJ. The Lynx make history. An historic night for the Titans. LC sails to Atlantic. The Iowa Western men's soccer team drops anchor in Reavers country. And the Panthers, all wet. Hey, all's well for the Iowa Western basketball teams. The guys knock them down against Northeastern. And the ladies run it up against the Cavaliers. But wait, there's more. Thank you, Fernandez. Fazola Hodges. Mike Blame. Welcome, and welcome to, to the Plus Sports, Sports Zone. Yeah. <laughs>
when we come back. For more than a quarter century, thousands of Southwest Iowa athletes have relied on this team, Jenny Ed Sportsman. Their sole focus is to prevent, diagnose, and treat your sports injury. They even partner with the surgeons at Ortho West, ensuring you get your own exclusive roadmap back to action. Methodist Jenny Ed Sports Med invites all Southwest Iowa athletes to its free walk-in clinic, open every Saturday morning, August through October. Jenny Ed Sports Med. Body language. Without saying a word, it can tell you so much. Like someone is having a stroke. Know the sudden signs. Learn fast. F. Face drooping. A. Arm weakness. S. Speech difficulty. T. Time. Time to call 911 immediately. The sooner they get to the hospital, the sooner they'll get treatment. And that can make a remarkable difference in their recovery. Learn the body language, the sudden signs, and spot a stroke fast. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege, not a chore. And frustration a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy and giving up impossible. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought and unconventional methods common. I'm a teacher. I make more. This portion of the Bluff Sports Zone brought to you by Cutler O'Neill, Meyer Woodring, family-owned funeral home, serving Council Bluffs in Southwest Iowa for over 100 years is the third time the charmer for the Lynx volleyball team. Now Abraham Lincoln here on the attack has come up one match short in each of the last two years. So this time any different? You know, AL's been to state 11 times and standing in the way of number 12, the Black Raiders and on a neutral site. Here's IDUB TV student Dylan Lindbergh. Sioux City East and Abraham Lincoln meet in the regional championship game at TJ High School. Set one, the Black Raiders starting off hot. Kelsey Smith with the flush. SC East up early, but the Lynx would fight back. Lauren Kulpitz with the kill. AL goes on a 19-5 run to make it 22-11. Later in the set, Kelsey Johnson nails it down. Abraham Lincoln battles back to win set one, 25-21. Set two, not in my house. After a slow start, the Lynx tie it up at five. AL takes over, Lauren Colpitz with the kill. The senior had 12 on the night to put the Lynx up 13 to 10. A few moments later, Kelsey Johnson brings the heat. Abraham Lincoln wins set two, 25 to 18. Set three, Samantha Bonet with the throwdown. She finished with six kills on the night. The Lynx tied up at six, but the Black Raiders would fight back. Alexa Lapke with the kill. SC East cuts it to three, 18-15 AL. Later, Caitlin Murphy spikes it down. Abraham Lincoln ties it up at 22. The Lynx just too much for the Black Raiders and AL takes the set and the match 25-22. The Lynx qualify for state. After not going last year, I did not want anything more than these girls to be able to get to see the Rapids. It's been something that we've wanted ever since that, that huge upset last year since we lost, and it's been in our eyes the entire season. They've had a great season. It would have been a shame not to end it this way. So I'm so, I'm so incredibly proud of them. Getting to the state tournament has always been a dream. I went my freshman year, and I want these girls that weren't on varsity or didn't get to play freshman year to experience it with me. Well, it feels awesome now being a senior. It feels great being our last year going to state and actually getting a chance to show everybody what we have. Abraham Lincoln will play in Cedar Rapids on November 11th. The Lynx will serve it up against Dowling Catholic at noon. For the Bluff Sports Zone, I'm Dylan Lindbergh. Thanks, Dylan. Now, what about the Titans? 
You know, Lewis Central's made it to state just one time in school history. Try 2003. So, emotions running high at Atlantic. Here's IDUB TV student Jack Clemish. Who's gonna go to state, Lewis Central or ADM? Set one. Elmi Umberston with the kill. Five to one, Titans. The Tigers rally back. Abby Mershman with the kill. ADM down by two. Abby Bergsten slams it to the floorboard. 17 to 14, LC. And his block. Lewis Central wins the first set. 25 to 16. ADM, Brenna Hook with the kill. Five to one, Tigers. The Titans rally back with the block. 18 to 14, LC. ADM keeps it close. Kenzie Sutton with the kill. Cats trails 20 to 16. ADM outscores LC 9-3 and closes out the set, winning 25-23. Set 3, Tigers grabbing an early lead. Brenna Hook with the kill. Titans rally back. Cassie Larson with the kill. Lewis Central trail 16-10. But the Tigers are too much. Hook who had 7 kills and the ace. ADM wins 25-19. The fourth set, Abby Burstein starts it off, all tied up. The Tigers answer right back, Casey Dufault, ADM trails 8-4. Lewis Central with the ace, Titans by 9. LC closes out the set, Reagan Coyle with one of her 13 kills. The Titans win 25-13. to The winner of the fifth set goes to state, Abby Burstein with her 25th kill. LC jumps up 6 0. The Titans close it out with the ace. LC wins the set and the match 15 6. Titans head to state. We're really excited to go on to state. That was our goal from the beginning. So, I mean, it's great. It's a great feeling to accomplish that. It's an emotional high, you know. We're going to state. That's the second time in school history that we get to go to state. So, it's a wonderful thing. It was Central was serving up against Harlan in the first round of state. For the Black Sports Zone, I'm Jack Clemish. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. History's being made all over the place. Like, take the Reavers, for instance. The top-ranked team in the nation looking to make some more. But first things first. <laughs> Iowa Western knocks off John A. Logan in straight sets at the regional tournament. The Reavers then stick it to Indian Hills for the third time. It took them four. Allie Dawson, 26 kills. The number one team of the country then makes it a clean sweep. 3-0 for the weekend, and fourth win overall over the upstart Warriors. Iowa Western wins the regional and district championship. Next up, the Nationals in Casper, Wyoming from November 20th through the 22nd. The Reavers head west at an amazing 42-1. Keeping it indoors, the college basketball season's off and running, and so are the Reavers. But how about some more history? You'll get a kick out of it. They did after the break. At Council Bluff Savings Bank, our goal is to help you, your families, and your businesses grow and prosper for generations. We take pride in our community, whether it's volunteering our time or helping individuals, families, and businesses succeed. We provide you with the personal service and attention you deserve. With over 220 years of banking experience, decisions are made locally. We are Council Bluffs people operating at Council Bluffs Bank to help Council Bluffs be a better place to work and live. Council Bluffs Savings Bank, hometown banking, the way it used to be. Member FDIC. They said I couldn't dream. Called me a piece of trash and swore that's all I'd ever be. Said a bottle couldn't see the ocean. Give up. Go back to the dumpster. But I didn't listen. I made my way. And now, I am what I've always wanted to be.
disease affects one in every three women in America, but you can fight back. There's no time to lose. Mothers, sisters, daughters, families, and friends, it's time to shout louder, stand stronger, and demand change. Let's go! To the Batmobile. Dang it. To the invisible jet. Dang it. Together, we can put an end to heart disease. It's time to go red for women. I could use your help. Yeah! Learn more from the American Heart Association at www.goredforwomen.org. Your future is here at CBTV. You're in the game. You take the shots. It's your story. The Media Studies Program at Iowa Western. Real Reality TV, starring you. For more information, go to iwcc.edu. They are the reigning national champions, but do they make it back to nationals to defend their title? Well, everything is set up to do just that. The number one Iowa Western men's soccer team is home sweet home, and the Reavers set to tackle an opponent they've never played before. And at stake, well, the district championship and a trip back to the national tournament. Here's IDUB TV student Cole McElfee. While most students are recovering from a rough Friday night, the Iowa Western soccer team takes on Morton Saturday afternoon. Basel, Ali Hozic owns the first half. 19th minute, the sophomore with the tap in from Jerem Farnsworth. The Reavers control the game for most of the first half and would do so for the second. Person Hoya gets a second chance and finds the back of the net. Not even six minutes later, Nick Melville would jump in and make this beauty of a shot. Three to zip Iowa Western, the sophomore grabs his sixth goal of the year. The visitors cut it to two. Yori Demisiano with the finish. Iowa Western blasts Morton four to one. The Reavers are headed back to nationals. I mean, last year was quite an experiment, uh, being first time there to nationals, but this year, we look to take it again. We got a good team, good group of uh, sophomores, and I think we're gonna do it. I actually talked to Tyler Junior College uh, head coach about this because he went back to back in 2009 and 2010, and he he said, you know, the hardest thing to do after you win a championship is to repeat. The Reavers head back to nationals unbeaten 2001 for the Bluff Sports Zone. I'm Cole McAfee. Thanks, Cole. So. Here's the way it shapes up as the second season in soccer continues. The reigning national champs will defend their title at the national tournament. It kicks off in Prescott, Arizona on November 17th and runs through the 22nd. Now, same deal, different place for the ladies. The reigning national champs will defend their title at the nationals in Melbourne, Florida, beginning November 17th as well. Now for some basketball. That's right. I've said it before, one season just blends right into another. Now, experience in short supply for the Iowa Western men's basketball team. Of the, what, three returners? One's hurt, one was sick. You get the picture? Here's Side Up TV student Crystal Herco. Iowa Western takes on Northeastern in its home opener. The tip goes to the Reavers. Deshaun Munson lays one up to start the game. Deshaun. Quickly, the Plainsmen take control. Dominic Robinson adding to the visitors' 11-0 run, 19-8 Northeastern. alley to Deshaun Munson. Iowa Western chipping away. Reavers trail by seven. The visitors shut down the home team. Iowa Western shoots 36% in the first half. Plainsmen lead it, 46-33 at the break. Second half, Northeastern Shakai Blake drops back and draws the foul. Sophomore leads the visitors with 15. Reavers ignite a fire inside. Andre Wallace for three. The freshman comes off the bench and scores nine points. The home team forces 22 turnovers and trails 59-56. Talk about teamwork, Rico Thompson to Shafi Carr, swings one around and down, tying the game at 63. Back and forth they go, the Reavers 15 of 28 from the three point range. Donovan Jackson with a team high 17 points. Off the backboard, Raheem Tyner with a three point play. Iowa Western comes back to outscore Northeastern 77-74. Coach really encouraged us to run the floor and then if you're a shooter, they encourage you to run the floor and then that just opens up the floor and then you get buckets. We knew we were playing bad. We knew we could play better. Uh, coach got into us a little bit. He got us going. We got fired up. We got in. 
we got into each other and we just pulled it out. Trying to get them motivated to guard, and they responded very well. I thought they guarded a lot better. And sometimes that's his motivation, getting yourself ready to go. And I thought in the second half we did a lot better job in a lot of areas and rebounded the ball better and obviously made some shots. So I don't know if there's anything magical we said. Just tried to motivate them and it seemed to work. The Reavers tip off their home season with a win. Iowa Western runs its record to 2-1. For the Bluff Sports Zone, I'm Crystal Herco. <laughs> Thanks, Krista. Up next, our play of the week. Inside or outside, what's it going to be? Hey, inside out or outside in for the Reavers women's b-ball team on the other side. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. If you store your guns properly, I'll feel safer when I'm playing outside. Safer when walking home. And I won't have to tell my kids, this isn't a drill. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. Always. Lock it up. Thank you, dear. Well, you're very supple. Just like I was at your age. Back then, I was a sex expert. Used to call me the buttered biscuit. I know about birth control, too. So you can ask me anything, baby. Bedsider.org has birth control information and a lot more. And it's... Have you had sex in this car yet? Schedule your campus visit today. Iowa Western, the world is waiting. You know, Canesville's been a busy place lately. And it's only going to heat up as we get deeper and deeper into the winter season. Now the reigning regional champs hit the floor at home for the first time this season. New year, same old story. Here's IDUB TV student Tyler Derrickson. Iowa Western takes on the Concordia JV in the Reavers home opener. Iowa Western works it around the perimeter to find Jasmine Trimboli who knocks down the tray, putting the Reavers up 6-5. Jasmine Trimboli for three. The Bulldogs' Emma Urbanic picks off Hunter Matthews' pass and lays it in, bringing the visitors to within five. <laughs> Emma Urbanic. A few possessions later, Chanel Pell grabs not one, but two rebounds and converts. Pell had a double-double with 11 points and 12 boards. Iowa Western goes into the break with a commanding 29-17 lead. Second half, the Reavers come out firing on all cylinders. Trimboli knocks down her third three of the night, I-dub 32-20. The Australian finishes with 14 points and six boards. Concordia's Taya Mason strikes back as she shakes off her defender to drain the bucket. Dogs trail 58-41. Iowa Western's Destiny Harris drives down the lane, switching hands to lay it in. Reavers win big. Iowa Western scores 55 second half points. All Reavers, 84-65.
if you looked at this game, the first half, you would thought, oh, this team could really play defense and not very good offensively. And then the second half was completely the opposite, where we our defense was horrible and our offense was really good. So we got a chance just to be a really good team. Um, I mean, we got a long ways to go. We're nowhere near where we're going to be. But I think we have a chance to both be good defensively and offensively. This, this group has a chance to be you know, a, a special group. Uh, probably four or five years since we've had a group like this, but uh, but we got we got a lot to prove still. So we'll uh, hopefully we'll get there. The girls win their first of 17 home games for the Bluff Sports Zone. I'm Tyler Derrickson. Thanks, Tyler. Now let's run on down to Old Lubbock, Texas. The Iowa Western Cross Country team did. Now both the guys and the girls take off in the national championships, ranked in the top 10. Sylvester Barris gets a top 20 finish for the guys. The freshman from Kenya, 18th at the Nationals. And as a team, the Reavers finish 16th. Iowa Central wins it. Lady side, Iowa Western's top finisher, 53rd place as the women finish 17th overall. El Paso is the team champ. Now, of course, stamina is a big deal when it comes to running. Well, same thing in wrestling and the 2014 Iowa Western wrestling team tested its stamina for the first time. Head coach Josh Watts takes his bunch to the Iowa State Open. Matt Walker makes it to the semis where he loses 11 to nine to a kid from Indiana. The sophomore from Ohio finishes fourth out of 33 guys in his weight class. Now five other Reavers win at least three matches, so not bad for the first time out. Now, it's time for our Play of the Week, brought to you by Buena Vista University. The top-ranked Iowa Western men's soccer team lines up against number 18 Morton College. The winner gets a trip to Nationals. Second half, Nick Melville from just outside the 18. What a shot. The Reavers outscore the Panthers 4-1. Nick Melville with our Play of the Week. The Play of the Week is brought to you by Buena Vista University. Earn your bachelor's with face-to-face -face classes right here in Council Bluffs. Yes, a little bit of everything this week. It's all pretty much a blur. Ah, but the best is yet to come. Nothing like the postseason. Nothing like winning championships. Something Iowa Western knows just a little something about. So stay tuned. Now remember to keep it here for more news and information in your community by tuning in to the Council Bluffs News with Marie Zeitner. So, for this latest edition of the Bluff Sports Zone, I'm J.J. Davis, and as always, I'll see you around.